Tseke Dene are Sukani people. Tseke Dene means people of the mountains. We are people of the land, connected to our territory and all of its elements. In northern British Columbia, from the Achaga to the Ospaga, Chuchi to the Wamaniga and beyond, we have watched over and cared for the land and all of its inhabitants, including the caribou, since time immemorial. The Sekedane people are deeply connected to the caribou, or as we call them, Wedzi. We depend on Wedzi for food, tools, materials, wisdom, and for social and ceremonial purposes. These animals used to populate every corner of our territory, moving like rivers across the landscape. Seeing Wedzi's movement on the land would bring comfort to our people as they indicated the changing of seasons. Our people, like Wedzi, moved freely throughout the territory in the pursuit of food and resources as they transformed with the seasons. In time, this pattern changed when a fur trading post was established by the Hudson's Bay Company on the Finley River in 1872. This would become Fort Graham. Our people traded with the white trappers who began to seek out fortune in Seke Dene territory. More frequently, our people went to the post and eventually began to establish seasonal camps and cabins near Fort Graham. This was a compromised outcome that enabled our people to continue to make seasonal rounds and hunt for sustenance while also trading furs for other goods. Life moved forward. A reserve was created at Fort Graham. While prospectors, fur trappers, and traders came and went, the Sekedene people continued to live their way of life and watch over and manage the territory under this new arrangement for nearly a hundred years. In 1968, Premier W.A.C. Bennett and the Social Credit Party completed building a massive hydroelectric dam that would carry the same name as the Premier. This was the beginning of a disturbance far greater to the land than any trading post or industry that had come before it. 1,773 square kilometer of valley bottom in the Rocky Mountain Trench was flooded creating the Wilson Reservoir, displacing all who inhabited the area including our people, our animals, fish, and a Wadzi. Wadzi could no longer travel east to west across the Rocky Mountain Trench to their cabin areas and winter feeding grounds. Our people tell stories of Wadzi attempting to cross the reservoir only to perish in the vast areas of open water now littered with woody debris. The reservoir facilitated forestry development in Seke Dene territory. Logging began in the 60s. Massive swaths of forest were leveled overnight to make way for the reservoir. The logging persists to this day. Still, we are told by the government this will not impact Wedzi. Roads continue to be built deep into Seke Dene territory and the ranges of Wedzi for log extraction and mining. In the early 2000s, we were told that the Wedzi were at risk with populations in sharp decline. The cause undefined but clearly linked to outcomes of unchecked development without regard to its cumulative impacts and the resulting loss of habitat. As of 2016, Seke Dene Nation estimates that there are more than 3,000 hectares of forest roadways and more than 100,000 hectares of burnt forests within the ranges of the dwindling Wadzi populations in the territory. Wadzi sightings on the land have become fewer and observed in lower numbers. The powerful indication of seasonal change from Wadzi no longer exists. Aerial surveys conducted in Sekidane territory confirm that the populations of these herds are in steep decline and trending towards extirpation. Wadzi are a part of our culture we feel responsible for the protection and rejuvenation of the herds within the territory. Seke Dene people have voluntarily stopped hunting Wedzi out of respect and in an effort to reduce strains on their populations. Our people have felt the destruction and change to caribou habitat physically, describing the loss as a heavy weight on the hearts and minds of the people. The amount of habitat available for caribou to move freely across the territory is dwindling 
as industrial pressures continue to rise. Habitat protection is needed. The caribou require space which continues to disappear. The Seke Dene people want to restore disturbed habitat and to see the remaining caribou habitat protected and managed sustainably in order to promote caribou recovery. <laughs>